Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to hit on 10 interesting facts about Flagstaff that you just might not know. What's up guys, my name is Eric Greenwald. I'm a realtor here in Flagstaff, Arizona. I work with Realty Executives of Flagstaff. And I wanna hit on 10 interesting facts about Flagstaff that you might not know whether you lived here or you visited here uh, or spent any time in researching the area. So the first interesting fact about Flagstaff is did you know on New Year's Eve they drop a pine cone? That's right, they do a large lighted pine cone and you can see that at the intersection of LaRue and Aspen, right in front of the Weatherford Hotel. And they do a pine cone drop at the countdown of New Year's Eve. So something special, you get a large group of people that come out for that every year, and it's a pretty cool event. So something to check out if you're here in Flagstaff for New Year's Eve. Number two on my list, did you know that prior to the COVID-19 pandemic that Flagstaff was ranked number 14th out of all cities in the United States for international visitors. Now that seems pretty crazy for such a small town of Flagstaff, but majority of our visitors and tourists that come into town uh, from international locations is because of the Grand Canyon. And the Grand Canyon is about 45 minutes to an hour away, and it's pretty hard not to hit Flagstaff on your way to the Grand Canyon. Um, so you will see a ton of visitors from all over the world here in Flagstaff that you might not see in many other locations that you might think. Number three on my list, did you know there are hardly any mosquitoes in Flagstaff? That's right, we're at 7,000 feet elevation and there's hardly any water around, so that's a perfect playground for no mosquitoes. Uh, so that's something that you'll really enjoy. If you come here during the summertime, uh, you'll have the nice, cool uh, summer evenings and you don't really have to worry about mosquitoes. So it makes it perfect for camping uh, those late nights around the fire, our backyard barbecues. So. Pretty cool, something that I didn't know until I got here, but you'll definitely like that you don't have to deal with mosquitoes when you come to Flagstaff. Next on my list is, did you know that Flagstaff has the largest ponderosa pine forest in the US? That's right, when you come to Flagstaff, you will see nothing but pine trees. And it's pretty cool because no matter which direction you come into Flagstaff from, you're probably coming from some dry, desert, rocky areas. And as you get higher up in elevation, you will see nothing but pine trees and it's beautiful during the summertime, during the fall or the winter. You're surrounded by trees, you're, you can smell the beautiful pines, and it just makes for um, you know, just a beautiful place to be and, and hang out at. So um, it's definitely something to check out and anytime you're around Flagstaff, you know it because you'll be surrounded by pine trees. Next on my list for Flagstaff, if you like beer, and you like the mountains, you're in the right place. Flagstaff has eight different local breweries that are here inside Flagstaff. Uh, I'll put the list up there in the comments below, um, but if you like beer and you like hanging out, I mean, there's no better place to be. And I think what I'm gonna do one of these videos is I'm gonna go to all eight breweries and figure out which one that I like best. So maybe even do it in one day. That'd be one heck of a video and Towards the end, who knows what will happen, but uh, if you like beer, if you like the mountains, Flagstaff is the place to be. Next, did you know that Flagstaff gets around an average of 110 inches of snow a year? So like I said, we're at 7,000 feet, but I can tell you for all my friends from the Midwest to the East Coast, it's nothing like those winters there. I mean, you can get 20 inches of snow here, and as soon as it's done snowing, the sun is coming out and it's beautiful. You could have a winter day where it's 25 degrees is the high with a foot of snow on the ground, but you're gonna have nothing but blue skies and sunshine. So even though we do get a lot of snow, which is great because it looks beautiful with the mountains, the pine trees, and you can go check out uh, Arizona Snow Bowl, our local ski resort, um, but it's still, you get the blue skies, the sun, and it makes winter so much easier than those other locations. Next on my list, did you know that in Flagstaff, Humphreys Peak is the highest point in the state of Arizona. At 12,633 feet, Humphreys Peak uh, is the largest mountain that we have in Arizona, and it's attached to our San Francisco Peaks uh, mountain range, which also holds our Arizona Snowball Ski Resort and plenty of other things to do. A lot of mountain bike trails, a lot of hiking, um, a lot of camping. 
So it's a cool place to be. It's a cool place to see. Pretty much anywhere you are in Flagstaff, you will be able to see these mountains and they are beautiful year round. Next, did you know that there have been multiple movies, pretty famous movies that have been filmed here in Flagstaff? You have Forrest Gump when Tom Hanks was running across country and he steps in dog crap. That was actually filmed on San Francisco Street here in downtown Flagstaff. Uh, a scene from the movie Casablanca was filmed at the Monte Vista Hotel here in downtown Flagstaff. And also National Lampoon's Vacation where Clark fills up his uh, the gas at the gas station that was at Little America here in Flagstaff. So some pretty cool movie scenes been taken here in Flagstaff with m many others um, and also commercials as well. So. Uh, check out some of these movies and you'll see some of these locations from Flagstaff. And next, did you know that a lot of Olympic athletes from all over the world come to Flagstaff to train at Northern Arizona University? Uh, with our elevation, it's a prime location for uh, people to come and train. We get Olympic teams uh, a lot coming from you know all over the place. Uh, whether they come out and they want to swim, uh, they come out and run, they come out and bike, um, but with our training facilities at the university here and our elevation, we do get a lot of Olympic athletes and some professional athletes that will come up here and train um, just to you know be in that atmosphere and, and get that extra training. So it's cool. Sometimes you get to see some of these players, uh, some of these people uh, throughout town when they come to visit and uh, it's a good opportunity to, to see that and it's pretty awesome to have them here in Flagstaff. Now the last one is I actually wanted to show you because it's pretty cool, but uh, potato chips here, sometimes the bags turn into balloons because of the altitude and stuff. So you'll see some potato chips. Now they're not all like that, but sometimes these things are like super high pressured and uh, it's pretty cool. So another little interesting fact, but uh, yeah, so that's what it is. Uh, and I'll probably come up with some more in another video. But again, if you have any questions on real estate, Flagstaff, investing, uh, visiting anything like that feel free to reach out to me and uh, email phone call whatever it may be and I'll be glad to help you out so appreciate you guys talk to you later bye